talking, being a little minority in this male dominant conspiracy theorist world is not easy, not easy, but I'm not here. But I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I would tell this because I would deliver the deliver. I would deliver the ladies gossip. Gossip. I don't care. I don't care. No filters. No filters. I'm always so much so that you guys. This is. This is. Show. 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 Here we are with another random video. In this video, I will be talking about the Kardashians and their shady ass ways. I started this script a while ago and I kept putting it on a back burner because life, work, and everything in between. Not to mention the drama with my March videos, my goodness, especially my Jordan Sparks video. I mean, that video was driving me crazy. I posted it and I set a timer, forgot about it, it gets blocked worldwide. I take it down and re-edit it and it turns out it was the wrong damn video. I uploaded the same damn video. It was crazy. Anyway, I, I think I'm getting off the subject of this video, so let's move forward. I know a lot of you won't even care about this video or any other video I do about them, so that's why I never do a lot of videos about them, just to let you know. You only care about certain people I speak about and I get tired of talking about them. Anyway, however, in this video, I will start with Chloe and Kim Kardashian. I will begin with the infamous wedding, so let's go back. Yes, the infamous wedding I'm talking about is Chris Humphreys and Kim Kardashian. The wedding that cost $14 million and the marriage lasted 72 days. But the actions of Kim Kardashian and not to mention the men stiller, the woman who's fatally attracted to ball players, Chloe. So when Kim yet again landed an athlete, a fun one, and that was really, really, really uh, pissing Chloe off. Why does Kim, she thought, always have to be the center of attention? Why does she have to get the good man? This is the sick things that plays in the mind of Chloe and Kylie too. So she had set her vengeance on to vandalize Kim's happiness from the start. She first planted the seed in Kris Jenner, her mother, and then she planted the seed in Kim by saying everyone was thinking that Chris was some kind of opportunist and using her. Even though he took out a loan for $2 million to pay for her dream ring and arrange a very beautiful proposal, he even asked Bruce and Chris blessing. He did everything right. He worshipped the ground Kim walked on, but don't forget the seed was already planted by her sister whom thought she was the bee's knees when she was the only married person out of the entire clan at the time and she prayed on it i mean she prayed it over her sisters too but karma is a bitch hence the outcome of her marriage so upon kim's marrying chris she was already regretting the situation so from that point on she was nitpicking on everything that chris said did i mean Everything he was saying, they were already twisting it around, even when he was joking. Kim treated Chris like shit, just because her jealous sisters put the thought in her head. She didn't even take his last name. And her mother, Chris, persuaded her also not to do it too. Even though Chloe took La Lamar's last name, but I guess she was okay to do it. You see, the only thing I really do not like about Kim, she has this thing to always having to be socially accepted especially with her boyfriends so that means just because Chris wasn't a superstar player and a huge celebrity he wasn't good enough for the Van Kemp Chris was right she did use him yeah this is Chris Humphreys she never loved him she only loved herself and her image when that was questioned during their long courts battle she broke down and cried because the mirror was now in her face so she felt the need to get her point across but we all know this was straight bullshit and <laughs> he was right this is the reason why nick cannon dumped her he said she's a fame whore times has not changed let's fast forward to the present Okay, upon Kim's wedding to Kanye, Kylie made a comment that this was just another show, basically, and it would not last. She also ignored Kim's rule on her hair color. She, too, wants to steal the spotlight away from Kim. Everything that Kim did or do, she copies. Kim has another baby. 20-year-old Kylie gets pregnant, too. Kylie is in war to steal the light away from Kim. But we all know Kylie isn't smart enough to maintain that light. 
But these actions of Kylie have left Kim to go to extreme measures to stay the head of the family financially and publicly. So she amplifies the nude photos and so on. She does this to stay relevant and hoping to outrank Beyonce, but it never works. Kim is such a fame whore. When Kanye was going through his battle of complete sanity, I mean, Kim went off the grid and it was told that they were arguing a lot because Kanye said that she shouldn't change who she is for some robber, not to mention prior to then, Kanye kept getting into trouble with his social media posts. So Kim hated when they were in public because of the fear about his mouth and what he may say. It was her image and their name he was fucking up. So it was told after all the BS Kanye has been through, she put him in the guest house when they separated. That is when the rumor of him being under watch came out and also the pics of her taking the kids to visit him. Oh, I'm not done yet. It gets worse. With this girl, now, because of the stress, Kanye canceled his tour. We know this. And the insurance company, upon him filing the claim, as they always do, nothing new there, they denied giving him money. So, Kim, whom should be standing by her husband, decided to update their prenup in saying that due to the unfortunate outcome of the whatever any quick rich schemes or unfortunate outcomes of insurance claims, he is not to use any of her money to maintain his living. I know, bullshit. Also, during this, she barely posts any pics of him on her social media accounts. She was ashamed after everything he did for her. But when it turned out he won the claim, she started posting him again. She's now proud of him. The shame is gone. But don't get it twisted. When it comes to dissing Kanye or any of the kind, only she's allowed to do it, not anyone else. She would check anyone who would continue to insult, lie, or anything of the kind toward him. Okay, so I gotta give her props for that. But the war of the throne is still effect. And not to mention to I'll follow Beyonce on Instagram. And not to mention to get out of the close ranking of her pathetic sport breast sister Kylie. But even though I don't agree with the lifestyle of either of these women, but one thing I can say that Kim needs to learn there is a time to grow up and a time to stop acting like some porn star and remember she have kids and she's a wife so all of the new photos needs to stop she's out of control and it made a lot of people unfollow her but at the end of the day the Kardashians are all fame whores and Hollywood sex slaves. they are being used by the elite to distract the public and lure them into the love of material things sex and vain these women are so powerful, especially Kim, whereas she's still the most top requested when it comes to plastic surgeries. They're idolized and worship. These witches are always going to be rich as long as we continue to get brainwashed into thinking beauty and fame is the most important thing. Anyway, that's it. And remember, a person's heart outshines far more than their appearance. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also don't forget to follow my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I post them every day. Hope to see you all there. Love you all. Bye. You can get an inside look at a listed videos and a sneak peek at my upcoming video script. You can also see the making of one of my videos. Mm -hmm. Even have a personal chat with me and much more. So become part of the Truth Show family. There is no fee, just donation. You can help me build and recruit more leaders and open more eyes. Oh, don't forget to follow me and or like me on Twitter. 
Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to listen while working out or driving, listen to me on SoundCloud and Spreaker. All the links are below. Hope to see you all soon. Big product. Don't miss it, ladies. Get your life.